I took so long climbing down from there that the Paraceratherium have just gone. I can't see any footprints that I can scan. It's too dry and dusty. My hat. Ah, here it is. Hmm, and it looks like someone very large has trodden on it. I wonder where they've gone. I'll try this way. Baby Paraceratherium! Oh, sorry! Come back! Uh, uh. Oh well. The babies are pretty big. I need a footprint for a fully sized Paraceratherium. Like the mother. Um, that doesn't sound too far away. <sighs> the watering hole! that this is where the roar came from. Hang on. What's that down there? A family of Amphocyanoidae. They're having a drink. They're also known as bear dogs. Carnivores that existed for millions of years. Wow. Look. It's the mother Paraceratherium. into the watering hole for a drink. And the mud down by the water will be a perfect place for me to get a clear footprint. Thank goodness his foot is better. And look what we found. A whole herd of Diplodocus. Look at them swishing their tails around. Uh-oh. It looks like the Allosaurus is back with a friend. Um, excuse me. Um, Allosaurus, could you uh, put me down at all? Oh, what? What? Slow down. Hang on. Stop. Whoa, wait. Uh, uh, where'd you think you're going? One thing's for sure, his foot's better. Oh. <laughs> oh, no! Mind that tail, Woo! And the head! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Watch out for that tail, Woo! <laughs> Ouch! Might have lost my ride, but I found the salt for Hattie's display. A clock. I've got to get back to the museum before it opens. And the clock is miles away. Hattie's backpack. It's always full of useful things. What's this? Looks like a kite. How's that going to help me here? Unless. This is incredible. I can see everything up here. Clock! Time to head back! I've made it! I've travelled back in time 65 million years to the time of Tyrannosaurus Rex. What I need to do now is to find a T-Rex and get an imprint of its skin. Easier said than done. Well, I haven't found a T-Rex yet, but I have found her nest. 
It says here that Tyrannosaurus rex was too big to sit on her eggs and keep them warm like birds. So instead, she made her nest using rotting plants. Oh, I'd love to get inside to try and get those eggs. Although I'd have to make a hole and I don't think that's a good idea. What was that? I hope it's not the mother T-Rex creeping up on me. I need to creep up on her. It's a didelphodon. They're not very big, but it says here that they were one of the largest mammals of their time. And they love nothing more than dinosaur eggs. Hello, my furry little friend. How are you? <gasps> what was that? Maybe that's her. Where's he gone? He's got a broken Tyrannosaurus Rex egg. Well, I wouldn't do that if I was you. It looks like you might have to share it too. No, calm down, stop it. Oh, no, come on now, break it up, break it up. That's better. See you later. Ah, oh, this is much better. I've still got to get an imprint of its teeth though. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that without it biting me. Unless I could wait for it to fall asleep. Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to happen anytime soon, though. Whoa, what's happening? What's it seen? Hang on a minute. Placerius, digging up some roots. Most of Sucas here must be hungry. I hope they're going to be okay. There's a whole herd of them, they should be fine. And they look and sound pretty feisty too. Sorry, poster Sukas, this isn't your lucky day. Well, I've been on this poster Sukas for ages now. He still doesn't seem like he's gonna fall asleep though. If anything, he seems to be getting Livelier! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there, there, calm down. It's all right. Whew. Right, he stopped. Now's my chance. Reach that. Copy of his teeth at this rate. <sighs> at last, and I think he's asleep. I think it's safe to go near. Now to make the mold. Perfect. Now to make the teeth themselves. Plaster powder. And the water. Look at that. And then we have three Postasuka's teeth. Going the right way. Hmm. I think I'm close. Oh! Ouch! Who put that there? Oh! What's this? Okay, I'm gonna sit on this rock till the mist clears. 
<sighs> oh, this rock feels like it's moving. What's that noise? Obviously hungrier than I thought. Ah, the mist has cleared. I can see things now. Like that T-Rex I was after. <gasps> T-Rex! Two of them! And they're both asleep. All I have to do is wake them up, get them to roar at me, I can record it on my gizmo, then run back to the clock. Right. How'd you wake a T-Rex up? Um... Hooey! Wakey, wakey! Come on now! Up you get! Um... Up! Get up! Wake up! What am I gonna do? This isn't working! Oh... Right. That's what we're talking about. I just need. Hang on, where are you going? Now, if one of you could just. Okay. I think I've got it. You can stop now. I better go. No! I think I've lost them. Oh no! How did they get there? They must have overtaken me. How am I going to get past them to the clock? The museum. It's going to open soon. Um. Oh. Hattie's backpack. Always full of useful things. A rescue flare? How's that gonna help me here? There's not gonna be anybody around here to rescue me for the next 65 million years. Um, unless. Yes, it's working. They're distracted by the smoke. All right, here we go. Time to head back! Oh, oh, what's that? Something's tickling my feet. Stop it! Oh, that Silophysis is back and he likes the smell of my feet. <laughs> Stop it! I've got to find another way out. Ah, oh. yes, I found another exit. Brilliant. Oh, oh no, when am I going to find that lichen? I still haven't got it. Hello, what are you doing here? Lichen. And it's the drier stuff too, just what I need. Oh. Thanks. There we go. Now all I have to do is get back to the museum. I should just have enough time. Hang on a minute. I'm stuck. The clock. I've got to get back. What am I going to do? I'm stuck. Hattie's backpack. It's always full of useful things. Fishing line. How's this going to help me? Unless. <sighs> My chicken sandwich. <sighs> right, now all I have to do is wait for the, the greedy coelophysis to come and pick the sandwich up. Come on, come on, it's there, come on, it's your sandwich, that's it, that's it, 
good. Oh, come on, guys! Oh, ow! Oh, slow down! Oh. 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 <coughs> Look at this! Two young Diplodocus having a drink. Oh, look! Oh, but I think they're too small to reach the top of a monkey puzzle. But they're not. A whole herd of adult Diplodocus. Right, I'm going to join them. Finally, I've caught up with them. They may be lumbering giants, but they take ginormous footsteps. Whoa, what's he doing there? It says here that the males sometimes stood up on their back legs to impress the females. That must be what he's doing now. And there's another one doing it too. Uh-oh. Things are heating up here. Ooh. Come on, you two. We can sort this out. No need to get angry before someone gets hurt. <coughs> like me. <coughs> That's it. Just walk away. That's a sensible thing to do. Oh. And no name calling. Oh. Did you see that? He stomped his foot and the whole ground shook. It says here that they do that when they like each other. Let's see if they do it again. He did do it again. They do like each other. Oh, I forgot about the tails. I'm going to make a move in case I get hurt. What's that? It's an Allosaurus. Well, it's got its hungry eyes on that Diplodocus over there. Oh, be careful! That's it, stand as tall as you can. Whoa! Where did that come from? I said you had to watch their tails. <laughs> I don't think you can eat that. Ammonite shells are much too hard to break into. Tell you what, this will make a great picture though for Mrs. Kibble's painting. Perfect! Just in time. Before that shark over there got into shot. Shark! Come on, little friend, swim for the rocks! Ah! was close. There's more of them down here. They must be hunting squid. <laughs> right, time to head back. Oh no. I was so busy watching the Thalassaurus. I can't remember which way I came in. Um, it's too dark, I can't see anything. Hang on. Of course, a Thalassaurus. They can see much better than me with their big eyes. If I follow one of them, they might leave me out. It worked! I made it! I 
have traveled back in time 106 million years to the time of Mutaburrosaurus. Now I've landed in the middle of a forest, but in Hattie's display, the berries were by a river. Question is, how am I gonna find a river? I can't hear a Mutaburrosaurus to follow, but I can hear. Somebody yelling a Sora. Hello? I don't suppose you know where any red berries are? No? Oh! Oops. I suppose not. Um, I don't suppose you know where all the berries are? Ah, Thanks for that. Looks like you've had some already. Wait for me! Come back! I can't run as fast as you lot! I need to find those berries! Wait for me! Uh, oh. Well, they haven't led me to a river, but they have led me to a pond. Oh. What? What are you clicking at? What? Oh, what is that? It says here, it's a Kulasuchus, an amphibian, a bit like a frog. The only difference is, though, Frogs are about that size. These guys used to weigh as much as a small horse, and they lived in and out of water. And in the winter, they would stay in the ponds, but in the summer, they'd head to the river. So I'm gonna follow him. Hopefully, we can find a river, and more importantly, some red berries. I knew I could count on you to get me to the river. Have a nice swim. Drop! He's got my clock! Give that back! Have to swim out to it. Oh, on second thoughts, maybe swimming to it's not a good idea. What am I going to do? Um, my backpack. It's always full of useful things. Right, sandpaper, miniature hairbrush. Fast acting glue? How's all this gonna help me? Maybe if I'm quiet, I can sneak up and. Whoa! No. Whatever's in the water has got lots of sharp teeth, making me very jumpy. Hang on. Reeds. Fast acting glue? Jumpy. Hmm. Hey presto, one prehistoric pole vault. I just hope this glue holds. Let's give it a go. back in time 127 million years to the time of Iguanodon. Right, I need to find myself an Iguanodon and make a plaster cast of its footprint. That 
sounds promising. Let's take a look. Oh, yes! This is exactly the dinosaur I wanted to see. A huge iguanodon, just like the one in Hattie's display back at the museum. I'm going to get closer. Look at that. They can go up onto their two legs when they need to. Right, let's take a look at their footprints now. just like the footprint that Hattie had. Perfect. Now all I need to do is to get some plaster to make a copy of them. The saber-toothed cat is hunting. And it looks like she's got her eye on those macrochinia over there. She's sneaking up on them, using the long grass as cover, just like lions and tigers do when they stalk their prey. Right, this time I'm going to be ready. Oh. Oh, stop it! No! Stop it! Stop making that noise! Oh, I've spooked the herd! And they're coming this way! <laughs> yep, I definitely spooked them. Wow, they are fast. All right, I need to fix my gizmo before it gets me into any more trouble. Hang on. What's this? A raisin. A raisin from the muffin that Jem was eating. This is what's been messing up my gizmo. Mm. Tasty. Right. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Yes, it's working. Finally, I can get my saber-toothed roar. Right, in position. Set to record. family of woolly mammoths. They're using their trunks to find food in the deep snow. Uh, excuse me, do you mind? <laughs> Maybe it's time to hit a ride. <sighs> ah, this is much better. Oh, oopsie daisy. From up here, I might be able to spot frozen river or lake. Cave lions any match for a woolly mammoth. There are hundreds of them, look. 
Of a mammoth migration! <laughs> 